Hey everybody, I'm making a quick video to explain how I'm recording 16 tracks in Logic from this Yamaha DM3D. I hope it helps you out. I want iPad control over the Stage Mix app on Wi-Fi and also the Monitor Mix app on the band's iPhones so everybody can adjust their own monitor mix. And simultaneously, I want to send 16 tracks to Logic Pro so we can record the gig. I can use the USB cable, but the mixer is stage right and I'm stage left, so I'm just gonna run an ethernet cable over to me. I'm using this USB-C to ethernet adapter. There are two ethernet connections on the back, one for each network. The first thing you want to do is go to settings, network, and you see device control and mixer control. They must be on different subnets or it won't work. I'm using DHCP for both connections, and the mixer control ethernet cable is connected uh, to a small Wi-Fi access point that also has a hard line connected to the DBX drive rack. The uh, connection from the computer to the Dante network is a direct cable, and I'm allowing it to just self-assign the IP address. Next, let's set up the patch from the board inputs to the Dante inputs on the network. Each Dante input needs to be assigned. Check your word clock settings. This is the sample rate that the console works at and that your Logic Pro project settings need to match. To get the audio from the Mac onto the Dante network and vice versa, we're gonna use the Dante virtual sound card. Now you do have to purchase this, but it's great if you need it. So first thing we're gonna do is audio channels. We want 16 by 16, you can go up to 64. We're gonna leave latency alone. We do wanna make sure we're on the right network, which is our USB adapter to the ethernet. And we can see that we've got the proper IP range. So we're gonna start that. Now that will show up under system preferences as a sound card. Um, and we're just gonna jump ahead to the Dante controller. Now this is where we are gonna patch it into our Mac. Hmm, lo and behold, we show up, we don't see any transceivers, we don't see any receivers, so something's wrong. So let's go down, see this red light. You've got primary and secondary internet connections or network connections. Oh, it's connected, it's connected to my Wi-Fi network, which is not giving an IP. Let's check out, you can just one by one, check them out, but there is my actual hard line coming into this computer. It's got the proper IP range, it's green, click okay. Things are happy. Whoa, there we are. We've got the Mac, we've got the DM3. Let's open this up. Now we should be able to, um, actually we're going to do it other way around. We wanna go DM3 into the Mac receiver. So we pick each channel and start clicking to assign, but look, nothing is working. I cannot do my patches. What's wrong? I see my devices. Let's go to device info and we will go to our Mac, double click on that and check out this device config and look at the sample rate is 44.1, which is pretty normal. CD quality, red book, we're gonna go to 96. Click yes, it reassigns. Now it's showing 96. So let's go back to routing. Let's see if we can actually send things into the Mac. Look at that, we can start assigning. Click as we go and you can see them turning green. Okay, so let's go to logic now. Choose an empty project, starting from scratch, audio. Um, let's put in 16 tracks. Ascending, create. To set up Logic, you want to go to Logic Settings, and let's check our audio interface. We want to change that to our Dante Virtual Sound Card. Make sure that's happening. Then we're gonna go to File, 
project settings, and then audio. And we want to make sure that the sample rate matches what we set on the DM3, so 96 kilohertz. Set that all up. We can see our first channel is patched, our mic is coming over, and then we can hit record. And now we have this coming in. Kind of a low level, but I can adjust that. Hope it helps you out.